folks. Look what I have. It's a pretty big box. Yep, it's a prep deck. Or you can probably tell by the description in the video already. But <laughs> here's an unboxing. I'm not gonna do too much, just unboxing and show you the contents, okay? Alright, let's see. What's inside? Okay. We had a Kickstarter a while back ago. And I backed them and I finally got the product made and shipped. <laughs> Let's get this out of the box. I'll show you what I got. Right. Okay, I got the marble color one. Different colors you can, you can get. I just happen to like marble. Nothing else in the box there. Got that. Okay. Whoops, there we go. Alright. One second. Okay. It also came in the user guide. So this box here came inside another box and the other, and on the outside it had the user guide. Prep deck user guide, okay. If you um, want to pause it and read it, go for it. And here this shows you the contents. Let me um, focus that for you. Okay. Again, you can pause it. It shows you how to um, prep the, um, the cutting board. It's going to be a little stiff when you first use it. This is all the accessories and lids. Shows you how to use your garlic crusher. And a four in one pillar. I'm not sure what the green stripper is. Yeah. Okay. I didn't I didn't get the table stand and um, just shows you how to use that. I just got the um, the prep deck by itself. It tells you how to attach it, how to organize the tray. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> got the hiccups. The lids, and the warranty information, and uh, nothing back here. All right, that's the unit itself. I'll try to link the um, Kickstarter page below if you want. Uh, I want to check it out. Yeah, this bag is not a toy. All the specs and details and sizes and whatnot is in the, um, in their uh, web page. Okay, yeah, they also have a web page too besides the Kickstarter. That's the cutting board. All right, open it up. Again, there we go. So we got the cutting board, which you can remove and wash it and whatnot. Again, it has different colors and different patterns. I just got the marble. And with magnets, you can actually see the magnets a little bit there. You can attach it to the bottom of this. You hear that? Clicks. And then when you close it, there you go. It has handles or cutouts. On the other side, same deal. Okay. All right. This is for the, the stand, for the iPad and whatnot. Right here too in the bottom, which I didn't get. So let's get the tape off the sides here. All right. Oh, 
okay, we got the tape off. So you're facing it. So I'm calling this the front. And this would be the right side and that's the left side here, okay? <clears throat> On the right side, get a little more centered there. You have, hold on. There you go. Oh, we got, we got tape on the inside here too. Sorry, I didn't see that tape. There's storage bin. Oh, <laughs> get the tape off there. That's why it's hard to take off. Anyhow, so when you're prepping your food, you, got, you can discard your stuff in here, and then it acts as a trash bin. When you're done, you can dump it out and wash it, and then you can use that storage. They do have a knife block you can buy. Um, it fits right here. You can put a few knives in there. I think it's like five or six knives. I didn't get that though. Maybe later I might get it. If, if this is pretty good, I might get the knife block and order that on the website. And again, I have the website in, um, below there. Get a storage unit slash trash compartment. <laughs> on this side, uh -oh, you have all the accessories. And that comes with it. What is this in here? Okay, that's the garlic pillar. All right. I'll show you that in a second. The juicer. Maybe four or five, four and one pillar. Yeah, I'm not sure what these holes are for, but the pillars here. You're gonna adjust and move it, I think, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. A little bottle opener. Oh, I can't see the bottle opener down here. It's supposed to be able to move this around. Doesn't feel very sturdy. I'll figure it out in a second. A grater. Pretty large size grater. Okay. A little fine grater. Alright, and these attaches to the large boxes. I'll show you how that works in a minute. And uh, a mandolin slice, uh, slicer. Yeah. Oh, that feels sharp. Yeah. Careful of that guy. Uh, sit on the lid or on the box there. And then you can do your business with that. And all uh, sits in here along with the lids too. Okay. These lids here, there's five of them. I'm gonna have to figure this one out. Actually, that goes here. And these should, these should go here. And then have room with the lids. The garlic maker pressure peeler this goes here, okay? All that goes right here. Uh, maybe not. Because this is in the way. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Oh, this is for the potato uh, the eye, the eye remover. Alright. Let me figure this out real quick. I want to pause it. For the peeler, you're supposed to push the button in. See, that's why they gave you instructions. <laughs> Yeah, you can switch it to this um, little Julian style, all right, to just a straight pillar, okay? All right, now I'm going to try to figure out how to put this in here. All right, give me a moment. Okay, that was my bad. You're, uh, I didn't push it in all the way. I had it up like that. So you got to push it in. Everything fits. Pretty cool, right? And you take it out and grab whatever you need, put it on one of these um, large containers and have at it. All right. And a garlic press, and the crusher. I guess you need to put small fruits or little slices of things in here and press it. <laughs> Some sort. <laughs> or you can actually use it to protect your fingers when you're slicing things. Yeah, because it does slide. You know what I mean? Pretty cool, right? 
So that'll help you uh, slice and dice things. We're not dice, slice uh, and uh, grate things. Yeah, small amount of food in there. Put a piece of the apple of some sort in there. You can grate the apple or, or the garlic. <laughs> All right, I'll look at the pillar again. I'm not sure what that's for. It says green pillar, I don't know. Put something in there, like asparagus maybe? Pull it out, I don't know. This is for the eye, eye of the potato. You can you know, use that to get the eye out of the potato. A little bit of um, metal here for the um, can, uh, can um, bottle opener. Again, push it in to switch the heads. Two heads there. One is a Julian style. Oopsie, and one is just straight peeling. That's that. Go right there, push it in all the way. All the accessories. And the lids can go here, okay? Push it in when you're done. All right, I'll show you these. Give me one moment. Okay, let's take a look at these. It's plastic, it's not. It's not glass. Those are measuring cups. It has measurements there. Okay. Teaspoons and tablespoons there. Pretty cool. Does it have millimeters? Nope. Just teaspoons and tablespoons for that one. All right. You get six of these. Plastic. So be careful. You get five large containers. Okay. With lid. Has a rubber seal there. Okay. You can actually take it off and clean it, which is pretty cool. Oh, inside this one is the medium one. So it stacks inside there. Okay. And let me show you how the accessories work on it. So you want to um, slice something. Right there, and use the thing here. All right, so it's like some cucumber and whatnot. <laughs> cool. And oh, a little notches here, so we can, so you can easily take it off. You can do it on the medium one too. It doesn't it doesn't stick, so you have to hold on to it. And you can um, do your uh, slicing and not, not there, okay? But again, it doesn't stick. So be careful of that. You might move, you might cut yourself. It does stick on the large one, though, okay? See? Pretty stable. And let's see here. It slides a little bit here, so careful there. The um, deck itself has a little rubber feet, so this won't slide. This might slide on top of the cutting board though. Just be careful of that. All right, then we got one large, one medium. And again, you can store the lids here. You got the lid there, all right. So we got another large and medium inside. A little notches here to open it up. Okay, another large, another lid goes there. You can leave the lid on here and just um, you know, leave it like that in storage. This has two small ones. Pretty cool. The small ones are actually deeper than the medium one. See that? And the medium is pretty wide. Can you do this? So, no, no, that's gonna be too tall. Yeah, <laughs> that's silly. I'm gonna fit two in there. I'm gonna just do one. Oh, I forgot to show you. I don't know if you can see it or not. Hmm. 
Okay, let me get a little closer. It does have measurements on there. These are cups, two and a half cup capacity, and 20 ounces. Oops, 20 ounces. Yeah, there we go, yeah, you can see that. There we go. Two and a half cups, 20 ounces, okay. And increments there. On the side. Uh, this one has milliliters and whatnot, 600 milliliters. And these don't have milliliters, the small ones. Big one does, okay. Oopsies. Oh, and the medium one has measurements too. So this is a quarter cup, four ounces. And millimeters, 100 millimeters, 150 millimeters, okay. How about the small one? Okay, it's a quarter cup. Same capacity as this one, the medium, but just a little fatter, deeper, uh, not as um, elongated as this one. Okay. Two ounces there, a quarter, 80 millimeters, all right. Wait, hold on. No, uh, take that back. Excuse me here, this is half a cup. This is only a quarter cup. This one here is a quarter cup. This one's half cup. Yeah, 100 milliliters. This one is only 80 milliliters. Okay, I'm sorry. So it is smaller, smaller capacity. All right, so you get two of those small capacity ones, two of those medium ones, and this is just a large one. And a little notches here to um, open up the lid, which goes on the accessories tray. All right, and that's the last of the, of the containers. You get five of them. Again, 600 milliliters, two and a half cup capacity for this one. 100 milliliters and half cup capacity for the medium size, 80 milliliters, and a fourth capacity for the small size. And this guy is teaspoons, eight teaspoons, and two and a half tablespoons. Well, liquid, you can put liquids and herbs in here and whatnot. <coughs> All right. You can chop your veggies and put it in here. Oh, you can use one of these guys here. Pretty cool, pretty cool setup. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. All right, so that's the deck prep. The prep deck, I'm sorry. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the unboxing. And uh, I'll link the website in the Kickstarter page uh, down, uh, down below. Uh, click on it and uh, get yourself one too, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, guys.